Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for Aries for the week starting December 21st. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleadtarot at gmail.com. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. You can also like and share my videos with your friends and family. And so let's see what we have for next week for Aries. I have already pre-shuffled the cards before recording the video. So the first card we have for energy for, for you, Aries, is the Ten of Cups. So you're very, very, very happy. It's a great time um, for you, Aries. I think uh, overall it's been a great year and great time ahead. And I feel that, you know, next week or, you know, for starting the 21st of October, the energies that you're very close to your family, you're very close to um, people at work, it's very light and friendly. So it's a great energy. Okay. It really is a card about uh, joy and. Um, Happiness, you know, it's it's a it's a very emotional card because it's a cup, but emotional in terms of well-being. So you feel good about yourself. It could be that uh, you know you did a good job at work. You may expecting a bonus. We'll have to see the other cards, but because it's a number ten, it's a it's an accumulation. So there's something that you are, um, you know, enjoying. You know, there's an, an there's an accomplishment. Uh, and you will be celebrating with your family. And also, you know, it's it's the holidays. It's Christmas. It's a great time. And I, I find that my Aries are so, um, uh, so fun. And they love holidays. They love to celebrate. They love, they love to party. So it's going to be a, a good week ahead. And then what we have here is... The Knight of Rods or Wands, the Knight of Wands, depending on the deck. This deck is a Morgan Greer deck. It's a tarot deck. So you have a lot of energy. <laughs> you all have a lot of energy. Uh, even if you're celebrating, you're going to see people, people are coming to you. Uh, but I feel that, you know, most of you're going some places because you, you're feeling good about yourself. Um, you feel that you have, you know, a lot of work ahead, but right now you're still in a, you know, a period. The energy is, is, um, is still growing. So whatever you're, you're doing now, your new endeavor is still something that you will expand in the future. It's a great card to have in this position because the Knight of Rods is, is really young. So it's a very um, light but energetic, energetic, energetic energy. Yes. And let's see what we have in the future position for next week. Is the Two of Cups. It's good to be, to be an Aries nowadays. I feel that... Um, in terms of uh, your energy or in terms of, um, you know, what you are putting out, you're attracting a lot of people to you, you know, and it's very easy and it's, you know, those could be people that you haven't seen, but I do feel that you will be connecting to a lot of new people, a lot of new people are coming your way. Two of Cups is, is a a card that represents a meeting of a mind. As you see, there are two grown people. So it's it's certainly, uh, it's a give and take, meaning that, you know, someone will be interested in you and you'll be interested in that person as well. So, you you, you know, you're going to have this type of discovery about the other, this exchange with the other back and forth um, during next week, which is great. I feel also you'll be meeting, a, you know, a lot of new people. So maybe... It's a two of cups, so maybe you'll be merging with uh, your partner, family, and you'll be, or maybe that could be your first time meeting most of them or all of them, and just you'll look great. Your energy will be um, loving, uh, you'll be very uh, enigmatic to them. 
so it's good so do go out and do allow you know other activities to take place in your life during the spirit so you can multiply those connections in your life it's good I love this card okay and we have here the king of swords Um, I feel that because this card comes as the outcome, I feel that you may have to, um, you may have to protect yourself. You know, you're marching so quickly, you know, from a nine to a, a king. So readily next week, you know, you're building connection and network. So you're expanding, you're expanding your status, you're expanding your friends, you're expanding your, your family in either way. And then... That will give you some type of uh, status, but the King of Swords also is a, he's a very rational uh, king and very direct. So you know it's it, it's not really the the element of the cups that we had in the previous card. So uh, it could be that um, maybe you'll notice that you have so much contact with other people. Everybody's coming to you that you're gonna have to be more selective. You know, you're going to have to maybe, like, uh, distance yourself or maybe put some type of uh, boundaries between some people. So go slow. I mean, go slow meaning, you know, you're very spontaneous Aries. Uh, go slow. I'm not sure if Aries could go slow, but meaning that, um, you know, use your free will for next week. Meaning, knowing that ahead, just don't open up, open up too quick or just try to... Be a bit selective, but still one to the other, you know, whoever that, that person is, the colleague, the new colleague, the uh, family member, um, you know, any type of relationship. Because like I said, you're going to have a lot of conversation with people, but then you may feel that as it is, you know, you, people are just maybe too involved or maybe they're... Uh, you know, they're asking you too much question, but you'll feel some type of way where you'll be like, oh, okay, well, you know what? Let me just put that right here so they know that this is this is cool with me and this is not cool with me. You know, it could come out a different, you know, differently depending on um, other aspect in your in your life that you're going through right now. But what I want to say is generally. There's a lot of um, energy where you will be in a situation where a lot of people will get to know you or you'll know a lot of people. So whatever that is, it could multiply, it could be at work, it could be in school, it could be in a new project where you're maybe working on your craft, whatever it is. Just make sure you're selective. So you don't have to be like, all right, you know, this is something, or maybe, Maybe it's for you to learn your boundaries. Maybe it will be good for you. You'll know what it is that you cannot stand or you cannot accept or where where you want to protect yourself. How, you know, is your intimate level with the other? You know, because you, like I said, Aries are so spontaneous that sometimes they just, you know, it's just like they open all the doors and people come in and then there's not necessarily, you know, potential people, people that are on the same vibration level. Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's a sword card. So it represents air. So it's very mental. It could be just how some people make you feel. Okay, inside, you know, but still, whatever it is, be mindful of that. And again, just make sure that you have an understanding within the relationship or the, you know, how you're going to start the relationship so you don't have to, um, you know, uh, create or put up some boundaries, okay? So I will leave this reading here for my beautiful Aries. And so this is a general reading, okay, as I said. Let me know how it resonates with you, how it, it's actually uh, showing up as an energy for next week. Leave me a comment below. And uh, you can also follow me. I have all the information concerning my uh, social media. I, I guess that's how we say it. You can find me on, my face, on Facebook, Twitter, and um, 
Pinterest, among other things. Until next week, I'm sending you lots of love and blessing. I love you, my Aries, and see you next week. Bye.